Grand Rising family. Hey, just want to come on here and tell you guys, God is good. God's grace. God's mercy. God is sufficient. Listen, can't tell you how big and how much we've been waiting on some things to come through. And honest to God, guys did it. And that's like the faithfulness. I just want to come and really just brag on God for a minute. Like, yeah. Like, he be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes and stuff that we don't know. But he be lighting it on fire, y'all. And I'm just telling y'all that just continue to trust God for what y'all need. And y'all know I come on here when I'm doing it and when I ain't the best. So this ain't no, oh, I'm bragging. This is me bragging on God. And I'm very happy that he has done what he said he was going to do for the Katie family. And I wanted to come on here and share the goodness with you guys and all your prayers, everything. Just pray without season. Start really doing, you know, the un the unorthodox and the um, unordinary and all this other stuff that they say that we should do. Listen, God is faithful. God is who he says he is. God will continue to do what he said he's going to do. And I'm going to give y'all scripture real fast so that you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And like I said... But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. And here's a couple more scriptures. First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.9, God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And... 1 Corinthians 10, 13, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you down. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us. And then it goes on and on. And as you can see, 2 Thessalonians as well. But this is what I was trying to tell you guys. God is faithful. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. This, this person right here, trust and believe in God the whole entire time. And this led her to this smile right here. This is what I'm saying. At the end of the day, God is faithful. From this time to this time, this showed me a lot. When I hit... 30 it was a lot but i can honestly say between 27 to 30 those years whoo, i'm telling you this crew love them this one love her this is us clowning having fun but this man right here this one that i'm about to show y'all this was the answer to my prayers this man this sexy specimen right here this one is the one that I can't live without. I'm so glad that he made me his wife and ultimately that he chose me. And this is one of the things that I wanted to say. And I don't say it enough to him, but I feel that he knows because we laugh and we clown and we love each other and we have fun. And this year, while celebrating our 12th year, I just want to give grace to God. And I want to give all the praises to him because if it wasn't for him, this person right here in my life would not have been here. And we wouldn't have had the other beauties that y'all seen. But I want to show y'all something. This foster care girl right here. This one on the corner. I don't know where I would have been. That was Crystal, y'all. This one right here. Lost, confused. This person right here. Even here, this couldn't tell me nothing. This mistreatment that I went through, foster care, that was me. But God, but God, boy, this, this. This what I live for. Believe God, not your circumstances, because his truth is greater than temporary struggles. Y'all, living testimony. There's one more picture I want to show y'all. My bad, I got one other one. But this, I love this. Something 
that they would have, that we had. To experiences like this, like this, and experiences like this, that prepared me for things like this. To this, where nobody celebrated you, your only your sister came to see your graduation and your grandfather. You know how that felt? To accomplish something that they said you couldn't finish? When I started my uh, 10th grade year off with only, I'm sorry, my 12th grade year off with only 10 credits. To this, the actual diploma from a certificate of completion that I got this one in 2020, thanks to my husband believing in me and me going back to school. Now, I can say I'm licensed in two states, about to be three, and God is just amazing. So this confusion, this was one of my biggest, most confused eras right here. I don't know. I just feel like breaking in and telling y'all tonight is something that's on my heart. Like I've been wanting to do this post, but I didn't want to do it too much. I just want to show y'all from this, you can do it from this. I was lost, y'all. Moved all the way to Clearwater behind a guy that I knew nothing about. And just moved. Nobody taught me. Nothing was learned. I just did it on my own. This. This was me, y'all. This was the one I asked my husband to go find. Because I wanted to show y'all. Yeah, that's goals in my mouth. Which I still like my goals. Don't get it twisted. But... That's that. That's my earrings. I was dating a, a drug dealer at this time. <clears throat> and all kind of stuff that he was doing. And still had a baby mama. Still was going home. Still was doing all that stuff. But I knew how to play the role. So that's what I'm saying. When y'all want to be side chicks and everybody think it's cool to be out there and do it. It's not cool. And I can only talk about what I live and I got a whole story out there. But I thank God for her grace, mercy, and saving me. And also having a beautiful family. And I could talk to my girls and tell them what not to do. Talk to my sons and tell them what not to do to women. And I have a husband that can teach them how to be a man. And also teach my girls that it's okay to have a man love you like this. You know? And when I look at these pictures and I look at where I am now, y'all. I had weave in my hair. Don't disrespect to everybody else, but weave in my hair that's, that my hair is way longer than that right now. You know, and I just was so lost, y'all. So lost. When I compare side by side, what I would tell that girl then is hold strong because it's coming. Change is coming. Everybody asked me would I change things in my life? No. No, because I wasn't ready for my husband when I was at the, acting crazy and wild. But it taught me how to love my husband. And it taught me how to love my children so that they don't have to go through what we went through. This girl right here, man, 21, lost. Lost. About to be dancing. About to be in a club. They ask you to go to dance so you can because you can dance to be in the cages. Y'all had it all. To this, from this, from those little two down there, that was me. From that, from this one, this one right here. Thought she had it all figured out, but God, unaware of everything, anything that's coming my way, and this man. This man right here. Well, that's me. He on the other side. Let me turn myself. This man. Mr. Katie himself. Loved me. Loved me unconditionally. This is what my story entailed. And I'm happy to be Mrs. Katie for the rest of my life. I'm happy to be Mrs. Katie. And all this was about God's grace and God's mercy. And I'm happy to tell my story. 2025 is going to be a new me.